Schools in Hawaii are having to jump through hoops to do campus upgrades. On Oahu, Farrington High School wants to put in an electric sign, but it hasn't been an easy process because a city law prevents schools from having illuminated signs. Alexander Zanes has more on how that could change. Alexander? Joe, the Farrington High School Alumni Association is ready to help the school buy a new illuminated sign. But it could be a while before that becomes a reality. A city councilman is hoping to make the process easier. The new football stadium at Farrington High School is getting plenty of use, but in the corner of the parking lot sits an empty spot of grass, a spot Farrington's principal hopes to fill soon. When our new stadium came out, we were, you know, thinking of, um, alumni was thinking of donating money and how they could help, and then um, the idea of putting a marquee and updating our old marquee was uh, something that, you know, came up and they were... Um, they like that idea. But because of a law against illuminated signs in certain areas of the city, the project is stalled. Enter City Council Member Joey Manahan, who says he's trying to make it easier for schools to use these signs to get messages out to the community. Usually, you know, the schools are basically what they're providing is uh, public service, uh, not just to the students, but uh, the general community where they are in. So, you know, they can post uh, bulletins and whatnot. Uh, for the school, but also the community. And so that's the, the primary uh, reason we're doing this. There are schools currently that have these electronic signs. I would uh, look at Radford High School as one of the examples, um, and there are others. If the bill passes, all schools around the island would have the option to use electric signs, something Farrington plans to take advantage of. What we're trying to do is trying to make sure that um, uh, we're, we're good neighbors with our businesses and, and um, residential, so uh, maybe putting on a timer so that if we, we, we do put information that those lights go on only a certain time. Um, but but it's, it's good for our community that, that we're able to quickly put up information, whether it be parent night or even just community information that's happening in a community um, is way more uh, user-friendly than our old one. And we'll continue to track the progress of the bill and let you know what happens. Right now, schools that do want the signs have to go through a waiver process if they want to be considered. Alexander Zanes, KHON2 News.